Hi programmers, I'm back and um, I've gone ahead and I filled in these uh, text boxes and I made that's read only and that's read only um, and we're going through here and the first thing we do is this group box is going to be toggled from visible to invisible based on where we are in the program. In the first place we go in that week text box 3 leave and that is where we go ahead and we get those hours and segs we're going to go ahead and set that seg data grid view dot visible um, I'm going to say false for some reason I've got uh oh I did the wrong thing the, the data grid view is true that's the wrong one is this seg group box dot visible we want him equals to false and then we come over here and on this group box we in the properties we scroll down in the click events and we want cell click event and we create a method and see I've already got him created there and these things that uh, I've commented ignore that don't worry about it it was something I did before and we're not going to do that so anyway basically we go through and we create these objects and we call it value 0 to value 6 and uh, then we decide what each of them is based to the row like a, so for instance value 0 equals seg data grid view and then in brackets 0 um, comma e dot row index dot value and then uh, I convert that to a string the text box I and put in the text box and you do that for each one of them and then I come down here to the minutes and then and the hours and then I fill up those text boxes also and you'll probably have to put this on the full screen so that you can read the code and then I said make that said group box visible equals true so let's see if this is gonna work for us because I hadn't tried it yet and I really don't know except the only one thing is when did we do this Okay, let's um, go through adjust hours. Oh, four. I don't know me. Well, it's not going to find anything there. So um, let's enter me some special time. One one oh four, and um, twelve thirteen. Is that what today is? Yeah, so we're going to stay from Monday, though, to 14th, 14th, 14th. I'm going to create me um, some, re I don't care, holiday hours is good enough. Or we'll say sick. I'm going to call in sick and go to the casino instead. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> create records. Okay, now then, let's come back over here. We've got those two created. Let's go to the just hours and do me again. One, one. 04 for this week. Let's see. Now I've got my two records. Now I'm going to come over here one. I'm going to click this. The Yay, he came up. This was the second um, record for me. So anyway, this is all we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to get to where, you know, we can edit these records and things of that nature. But all we wanted to do really is just display the cell grid. So let's say that one changed. You can see that. Uh, it said it's sick and sick. We can come back over here on special time and do me another one. Four. And, um, well, so we're going to save for, was it 34? We'll save for the 15th. I still didn't feel like going to work, but I didn't call in sick either, so we're going to say vacation day. So now I can go to the casino on vacation day. And uh, let's see. Um, adjust hours. Uh oh. See what we did? We're supposed to space that out when we're done, which I will. So what you guys need to do, you need to go into your code and where it clears out that grid uh, view. Also, say visible of this seg box equals true also. But for now, and I'm going to do that as soon as I finish this video. So we're going to find our things and um, we click it, see? in and out in and out okay so that's for today and uh, i'll see you next time we'll do something else